My Hero Academia fans are furious about a censored emotional scene. It's time for the latest news out of Japan. My Hero Academia Chapter 393 is a big one. The end of the fight between Himiko Toga and Ochako Uraraka. This is a climactic moment for the manga. Naturally, the whole fandom has been excited for this, and the official translation of the chapter was highly anticipated. But when it hits, fans were in tears at the last two words in the chapter. A beautiful final moment had been potentially ruined by the translation. Originally, the last line of dialogue has Uraraka finally stop using Toga's full name, instead referring to her as Himiko-chan for the first time, showing an earnest desire to treat Toga as a potential friend rather than a villain. Viz's translation has Ochako still use Toga's full name in that final line, ending this tender emotional moment by talking in an oddly formal way. This went down extremely badly with the My Hero fandom, to the point many accused Viz translator Caleb Cook of actively ignoring the original text and going against creator Kohei Horikoshi's intent for the scene. His translations have been controversial for a while, to the point past interactions with the My Hero fandom has driven him off of Twitter. While some in the community are starting to get skeptical about the negative reaction, many fans are still suspicious of Caleb, claiming he mistranslates aspects of the script he personally dislikes, or that he tries to keep the official version different to fan translations at the cost of accuracy. However, there are other possible reasons for these differences. Caleb tends to focus on being faithful to Hirokoshi's intents over literal accuracy. We saw this with Kami back in Chapter 380. Fans roasted the cringy dialogue of the official translation, but investigators pointed out that it's closer to the intent of the original Japanese, right down to the author's notes that can barely keep up with the incomprehensible slang. Chapter 393 even offers another example of this, with a Pokemon reference from the original changed for an alternate Pokemon reference that made more sense in English. So did something similar happen here? Earlier in Chapter 393, Himiko makes a statement about not wanting a villain name, choosing instead to live as Himiko Toga. Ochako also using her full name backs up the idea that she accepts Toga. Using both names makes the final moment less intimate, but works as more of a callback to the earlier scene. The alternative is that the line may have seemed too romantic translated literally, saying you want to talk to someone about romance, using their first name and an affectionate honorific is a strongly suggestive line in English. Turning talk into chat and using Toga's full name moves away from that implication. Either way, it's worth noting that the English translation was an outlier here. Spanish, French, and even Indonesian translations kept Ochako using only Himiko's last name in this moment. With so many other equally official translators taking a different approach to Caleb, this is a curious situation, which is more accurate to the true intent of the scene. It's as great a mystery as Naruto becoming a villain and starting the fifth great ninja war.